All right, you are back with movie reviews and more. I'm your host, Katerina Kazayas, together with, of course, the host, Brian Sebastian. And Hello today, there. we are talking a little bit more <laughs> because you could probably also see the fabulous looking lady that is sharing the screen with us today, and that is Miss Joni Rogers Conte. Cont Conte? Say it again, right, Joni? Joni Rogers Conte. Conte, thank you who, for those of you who may be familiar with the name, you're probably thinking, Cinegents. This is a lady who back in the day was a single mom with a toddler at home, looking around saying, how, how do I survive? And in this environment that most of us are living in, we're in this COVID-19 global lockdown. This is somebody that absolutely has the ticket on not only how to survive, but thrive. Joni has built a billion dollar global network marketing company with some of the most awesome products that are available. And we're gonna go deep into her story today and also talk about how as an entrepreneur and especially as a woman entrepreneur, so Brian, I know you're gonna love this one. How do you pivot so that you take your business to a place that is relevant. And one reason I talk about that is, Joni was smart enough to move into hand sanitizers before this thing, this whole thing went down. So Brian, maybe I'll bump it over to you for the first question. And Joni, welcome to the program. It's a pleasure to be here. Joni, I knew, I've known about your product for years because I've always been surrounded by women. So I'm always looking to see what they like, whether it's lip gloss, whether it's eyelashes, cosmetics, or anything like that. So I always feel I was that fly on the wall, except I was there. And I would always ask them, what do you like about this product? What do you like about this gloss? And all my the women that I know, the first thing they take out of their purse is that lip gloss, no matter where they are. They're like, this is interesting, seeing what she has already, which is great. Talk about what was the most important for you when it came to developing the product. Well, think about it. That was over 20 years ago because our company is now 21 years. So as I'm holding my toddler in my hands, as every woman does, they reach up, the toddlers reach up and they start playing with their face. And you, if you're wearing cosmetics, right, uh, you don't fix your cosmetics. And so as a young mother, I'm thinking, oh my gosh, why can't someone create a product that doesn't smudge and, if it, and doesn't come off? And if it doesn't come off, it's got to make your skin more beautiful at the same time. So that many years ago, uh, trust me, this has not been an overnight success. That many years ago, we started the development of the product and um, uh, we started with six lip colors. And of course, I was broke. I was a single mother. So we just slowly built the company year after year after year on the sales of the product. Oddly enough, no one would give me a loan to start a business because I was broke. Uh, so we had no other choice other than to grow very slowly uh, with our patented product and teach women about long lasting color. We were the first to say, actually string those words together, long lasting color. Amazing. The lipstick, because it's liquid. So we had to teach them how to use it. It was a long training process. And now of course, I don't think anyone walks out the, well, lots of people don't walk out the door today unless they're wearing long lasting color of some type. And it's not only our lip color, of course, it's our entire product line. That not only is long lasting, but truly, if it is on your skin, it's helping to make your skin more beautiful. Yeah. Well, you know what I love, Joni, thank you for that. Um, Brian, you'll appreciate this, is not only is she offering great products, but you're also offering women uh, an opportunity to get into business for themselves. So, you know, and follow up to Brian's question, my question would be, how important was it as a single mom back in the day to have time flexibility? Well, absolutely, very important, because I was a single mom, I was a sole uh, caretaker of my son. Uh, so whatever I did had to be flexible. It, I had to be the master of my own ship, and I had an experience in direct sales where that, that I, I got a glimpse of what it was like to help teach women how to build a business out of their home. 
So I knew that that was the model I wanted to use. Now I had a choice because my stepfather was the executive senior vice president of merchandising for Save on Drugs, which is now CVX. But within that model, I knew that if you were going to, you know, start a business and try to um, uh, distribute products that way, I mean, you had to work 12, 15, 16 hours, seven days a week for years to get to that point. And I all knew that I was not willing to do that. So the model of, of giving women products that actually work, if you think about that, products that actually work, so it's not a difficult product to sell. If you give them, put in their hands products that are really worth the value and do what they say they're gonna do, it makes it easier for them to sell based upon the flexibility that they need. And if it's, if it's easier for them because the products really work, they'll continue to sell more and more products and get residual income from it. Now, one of the other issues was when I was looking at, okay, I need to start my own business so I can have this flexibility, um, was that I had to have a product that was real session proof. And as we know, cosmetics, liquor, and tobacco, the latter two, not my wagon, uh, are recession proof industries. So I wanted to make sure that I was spending the time that we had in the business that could sustain itself, although certain situations were going on that were beyond my control. And it happens that uh, cosmetics is recession proof, they're consumable, so people reorder them if they work. So the baseline had to be these products had to perform. It's interesting, I'm listening to your stories and I'm seeing what I'm going through or what you just described, being recession proof, I say stock proof, and being able to adjust, adapt, and be flexible. Because what you just said, you have to be, because the world changed a month ago. You have to be, or else you're not gonna make it in today's world. So what happened with the sanitizers, the sanitizers weren't actually a part of our product line, but we saw the need because we are adaptable and and we said, wait, we have the components and we have some of the raw materials, but we don't have all of them. So we have had such great third party partners in our industry who have helped us uh, you know, along the way. It's amazing that when you're, when you're a good company and you try to do right by, you know, by your employees, by your business practices, by you know, your distributors, uh, how many people are willing to jump on board and be a part of something that was built to be good? They want to see it succeed. So our third party vendors, once again, uh, came to our um, aid and said, I have this, or I have this process, and we put them all together, and we made an amazing uh, formulation that we are now distributing to, um, we send them out in every order for our distributors because we knew our distributors couldn't buy them. Um, we've given uh, hundreds of thousands away now to uh, G nursing homes, to hospitals, first responders, funeral homes, um, different charities with women and children who need them uh, throughout the United States. So I have a question on that note, Joni, because, you know, a lot of the discussion that Brian and I have sometimes is around tapping into your intuition, tapping into your, you know, guidance, if you will, and, and really living from the heart. So you have this, you know, cosmetics line, it was booming, it's doing well, and all of a sudden it's almost like as a pivot, you decided to bring in a product that isn't classically makeup. How did that intuitive hit come to you? And, and what allowed you to follow that, whereby, you know, a few months later, the world is fiending for hand sanitizer. I just find that part of it fascinating. Well, it's, it's my belief that you, you take a look at your assets during, especially emergencies, where people are in need. You take a look at whatever your assets have, uh, you have, and you, you, you uh, make do, or you create whatever you can to meet the need. Of, uh, for society. So in the operational part of our, our uh, buildings, uh, 
of our company, of course, we're making sure that we keep every single employee, every single person employed at 100% of their salary. Wow. Our, we took a look at the components that we had and said, what do we need to do to help resolve this problem, to be a part of the solution? And that's how we began to put together not only the hand sanitizer, but we're working on other products as well that will be extremely beneficial to society. Um, and then uh, for our distributors, uh, our distributors are fine because they're in a recession-proof industry. Our worry, our contribution that we can make because we know how to build a business out of our home is to help as many of the unemployed people as we possibly can not only start a synergist businesses, that's what they choose, that's, that's a separate choice, but help everyone start some kind of home-based business so that they have the means in which to care for their family. And so our goal is to take a chunk out of now this 30 million unemployment uh, situation and guide them through and mentor them through uh, establishing some type of security for their family. Tony, congratulations with that. I, I love what you're doing. I have you're going to come up with a cute mask for women to wear also with this. I have a feeling. I can just see it going in your brain already. And I've had a couple people reach out to me on the same idea. Yeah, I can see your face. I know you're working on it already. <laughs> yes, we are. It's already in the works. <laughs> Talk about, um, again, I wouldn't have done, I wouldn't be where I am right now if it weren't for me listening to women. When it comes to the we need to listen more to what women are developing, their thoughts, their sense of hearing, their smell, what they're thinking, everything like that. Talk about that. Also on the skincare product line, is it made for, do you have something that for men of color? Because when I'm wearing makeup, I wear MAC makeup because it looks good on camera. But I, you know, that's the only one I was told. But I don't know, so I'm always following what women may know. Well, first of all, let me address that. You, when you build a business from your heart, it's very difficult to go wrong. Uh, number one, the rule has to be, it has to be built on truth. First of all, everything you establish has to be built on truth. Otherwise, it will not stand the test of time. We all know that. So why even bother? Don't even bother going down that road. And then when you speak from your heart and you react from your heart based upon the needs of what people need, I mean, our product line makes women feel more confident and they perform better during the day and they're happier and they walk with a skip in their step. Um, they don't have to waste time printing throughout the day or worrying about the way that they look. They kiss differently. You kiss, you get to kiss more people. Not that that's a good thing, right? But it has been. <laughs> I'm sure, and I feel confident, it will become a good thing again. Uh, you know, you get to kiss your kids differently. You get to kiss your husband differently. It literally is. So, we think we get to live life in love and abundance as long as we work for it. Um, the other question is, uh, answer to your question is, we do have a men's line to help make your skin as beautiful as it can be. And of course, our foundations can be used on men or women. Do Thank you. That's what I wanted to know. Yes, I will send you some that you can play with. There you go, awesome. So, hey, us men, some of us men want to look halfway decent. Of course, you do. And, and I'd like to know if you have a girlfriend. I know a lot of women who would like a man like you. There you go. Yes. There is a bunch out there, but I'm being single. <laughs> <laughs> Joni, I have a question for you. With respect to, you had mentioned, you know, you'd like to be uh, a mentor for women or, or for people in general who may want to become sovereign in their ability to feed their families. Did you have a mentor while you were building this company? I was fortunate enough to have actually several, but uh, as a little girl, I knew that whatever I was going to do would, would reach around the world and affect millions of lives. I, I knew that from a very young age. So um, my father, who was again, the senior vice president of safe merchandising for Save On Drugs was a mentor and very patient in teaching me basic business practices. And then at a young age, I was introduced to Mary Kay Ash, who taught me about direct sales. Uh, and that's when I fell in love with the concept and the 
the understanding that you could build a, a business that could move merchandise through support and love in a different way than most corporations are created. Mm. Um, it wasn't just about how many hours a day you put in or how much smarter you were than the other person or who you knew. In, in, in the direct sales world, it's all about building someone's um, skill sets and almost loving them, which becomes, is very intuitive to women anyway. You love people to success, you help them. You have to be willing to help make other people successful before you can even think about becoming successful. And it's cheap. It's a really cheap way to start your business because if you can find a product that you're passionate about, you know, it might cost, it doesn't cost $100 for us, but some companies might be $100, where you can start a business and see how you do. So, uh, because the, the infrastructure is already there. Um, and I think that that's what I love about, you know, network marketing and direct sales, and especially in this environment with, you know, a possible collapse in the, you know, petrodollar, a collapse in the banking system. If you can set up a passive residual income where you have the flexibility to work from home, you're promoting a product that you love, and if you develop your team, you'll be sitting on that residual, you know, passive income that can only grow. You've been quoted as saying one of your, um, your, your books that, that really has positioned you was Think and Grow Rich. And that's a favorite of both Brian and I. Um, talk to us a little bit about, um, you know, what was it about that book and some of the lessons that Napoleon Hill was going into that resonated with you as you were building um, the company? Well, the 13 characteristics that are outlined in there completely changed my life. Um, and I, I wrote them on a mirror and I read it both day and night reviewing how I spent my day and how I could have made it better or how I can apply this the next day uh, until I really felt that I had internalized it and you get to a point where you have that sixth sense about the decisions you need to make. Um, I think one of the most important things that I learned uh, very quickly was to build on truth because it is a waste of your time if you're not uh, making honest decisions and the decisions you make are a win-win for all parties uh, involved in that decision. And our company is built that way. So all parties at all times uh, are, uh, are inclusive within the winning of whatever plan it is that we put forth. Um, consistency, of course, um, is absolutely key. Uh, and keeping your blinders on, I do not worry about what other people think about the decisions that I make or, um, you know, I don't worry what they think about me. Um, you know, that's none of my business. I, I just keep my, my head down, so to speak, and keep my focus on what the end goal is and uh, just keep working towards that every day. I really don't let the outside uh, commotion uh, determine what kind of decisions that I make. So I'm pretty good about that. And I think that people need to learn to do that. Why be swayed by someone else's opinion? Like Napoleon Hill says, their opinions are pretty worthless. Every opinion, that's why they're worth it, worthless. I'm laughing about that because I, I had to make that decision like four years ago. I was is that my Libra trait was always wanting to please people. I'm doing this for the better of womankind and then mankind, but at the same time, pe people had their opinions. And I'm like, I can see a little bit more of what you can't see, but the overall goal, everybody will be happy. So a lot of times, some uh, yes. see. I'm glad you said that because I feel strongly about that now. And I'm so determined that I don't really care anymore because I know exactly where we're going. That's what counts. As a leader, you have to know where you're going and then you just go and you will find the people who support that in goal. And speaking of going, where are you going next? Where is Cenegents going? Well, um, there's what, uh, 460 ports around the world. We're, uh, <laughs> we're in 17 countries. And uh, I'd like to, in my lifetime, get to 120 of them. 
Uh, so we have a long way to go uh, as far as expansion is concerned, but our product line as well, uh, we're constantly updating our products with new technologies that are discovered and uh, will make the products that we have even better. And then we have more products, for instance, uh, uh, you mentioned men's line. There are some more products that we can add to the men's line. We just launched an extension to our hair care line. And of course, we're always working on uh, innovative products for women. There's the teenage line and of course, the children's line of good, healthy products for everyone to use, which expands the market share of our distributors. Now, we've always done business online from the very beginning. We were I'm sure amongst one of the first companies that had a website, um, we used to run our business through telephone and fax machines and then immediately went to websites because my husband, he was on top of all that. And uh, we have continued to uh, always engage in marketing online, but still important to us is that person to person, a personal relationship. So always going to maintain our training in social skills and building relationships while using technology as a way to help us move our business forward. So when everyone was sent home to do their business and many people were trying to figure out how to do it, we already knew how to do it. So we were way ahead of the ball game and we have helped now well over 10,000 people establish a home-based business out of their home just in the last 30 days. Wow. That's amazing. Yes. Congratulations on, on, on that. That's it's the girls and their passion to help. That's, that's amazing. <laughs> well, I, I, you know, part of when you were talking, Joni, part of what was hitting me was, you know, we're, we're talking about and we're, we're hearing that the old is crumbling the, the the patriarchy you know that's been in place for seven to eight thousand years is starting to shift and we're really moving into the rise of the woman and and not so much the woman but the more feminine uh traits so things like collaboration creativity intuition um and, and i and i feel that you were an early leader in that space and because of that as you said, you have now already positioned your company for this change that's coming down the pipe. Um, for anyone watching that is thinking, you know, I need to shift my life, I need to do something different. What's your piece of advice on overcoming self-doubt? Because I'm sure that hit you a few times. Now, I have an interesting way to uh, look at that. I think self-doubt is evil. Mm -hmm. and, you know, if you believe it, it's black and white, it's heaven and hell, you know, Satan, I'm, gonna, I'm that black and white. So when I have a negative thought like that in my mind, I really think that it is um, an energy, wherever you want to call it, that prevents you from being all that you can be. It's, it's, a, it's always, there's always a conflict between good and evil. And everyone, every day, has to make choices between good and evil, right and wrong. And so doubt to me, or uh, you know, uh, self-deprivation, is, is the same. It's either you can uh, exalt and, and stand strong in your belief and go forward, or you can let the opposite energy, which is the doubt, uh, let you go backwards one or the other. And so if we understand that when those moments present themselves to us in our mind, and we catch that happening in our mind, we at that second have a choice to either allow the negative to impact our life or to choose the positive and make it, make it work forward for us. And so it's not something that happens overnight. It's something you have to teach yourself to catch yourself thinking and then know that you have a choice we have a, a tagline in our company which is to choose to live life in love and abundance and then work for it and of course those choices uh, that you make along the way you have to teach yourself in the moment to make those choices each and every day that they present themselves to you because they pop up all day long 
And ultimately, if you do it enough, you become an expert at making sure that you are catching yourself making positive movements, having positive thoughts, surrounding yourself with uh, positive people, with uh, affirmations that are uh, one way or the other helping you to achieve what you want to achieve. Johnny, we got about five minutes. Could you tell me, did you know, as that smart businesswoman, when did you know that you made it? I needed smarter people than me around me. <laughs> because I'm not the sharpest, you know, uh, shard of glass in the pile. I have had amazing people. I asked, you know, in my prayers, I asked for those angels to be sent my way who would uh, give great counsel and guidance and uh, become uh, trusted uh, sources of energy and strength and knowledge that could help put this together. And that has, that never ends. I believe that people are sent to you during a period of time that will help move you forward to the extent that they were sent there to move you forward. And when it's their time to go, another will come in and you'll continue to move forward. Um, I've had a core of people who have been with us since year one who um, um, are still here and continue to be that core rock. And then we have other very talented, intelligent people who come in and out and continue to take us from one level to the next. So I think that you know, in our prayers at night, we always ask for strength, courage, and wisdom, and also the talent needed uh, to help you get to where it is you see you need to be. And that always changes. Katarina, I know you're thinking of something. I can see it look at your face. No, no, what, what, I'm, what I'm appreciating, Joni, is, is the fact that, that nobody does it alone. And if you can recognize and move your own ego out of the way, which is actually what hinders a lot of people, and recognize that there may be some things I'm excellent at, and there may be some things I'm weaker at, who can I couple with? And you know, even, even having mentioned your husband a little bit earlier, it's not only the organization, but the family unit as well. Who are you aligning with? What are they offering? How can you leverage each other? And you know, that's one of those things where, um, again, the way the world is opening up for as closed as we seem to be coming, be becoming, I'm, I'm feeling that people are actually more open to working together. So thank you for that. That was great. And a nice reminder. Well, thank you all for having me on your show. It's a, it's a great pleasure to share our thoughts with you. If somebody wants to join the company, Joni, where do they reach out? How do they find you folks? They want to join our company, they can go to synergence.com or lipsense.com and click find your nearest distributor. Or you can do a search on Facebook or Instagram and find your favorite uh, distributor who may be doing a tutorial or someone you already follow and just ask them what they need to do to join. They'll be happy to help you. It's very simple. Johnny, it was an pleasure to listen to you because I love, I love that you, you're really big on prayer. I can feel the spirituality aspects of that. And I always say, if you're the smartest one in the room, you're in the wrong room. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> well, and I want to close by saying that these products are awesome. As a woman in business and makeup and the whole thing, I think it's brilliant. I love that you've gone from a few lip glosses to a product line that spans you know tens of hundreds of different products you're expanding into a men's line you're expanding globally even more so um you should be really really proud of yourself i hope that you are i'm proud of our team and i'm proud of our mission and that is again to allow women to know that they have a choice to choose to live life in love and abundance and work for it All right, Katarina, I'm going to let you close. <laughs> well, you know, I want to say to everybody out there that's looking for something new, um, please, if you're not familiar with Senegents, 
have a look at their products. The products, as I mentioned, um, right now in my hand, I'm holding the facial uh, resurfacer, which I believe is an exfoliant. And the, this one is really interesting. I haven't used it yet, Joni, because my package just came in yesterday. Golden Radiance Peel-Off Mask. So for all of you at home right now in the lockdown, guess what you get to do? Pick up some product, check them out. And most importantly, I gotta be a little bit of a girl here. Think <laughs> of missing the man in your life and not have to worry about, oh wait, 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 I just put my lipstick on. Okay, kiss me here. No, kiss me here. Thank you, Jimmy, right. for bringing some sparkle back. Yeah, it's gonna change the way you kiss. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You Thank you, Joni. Thank you for your time. I really appreciate it too. And I learned a lot about your company. Thank yes. You. Thank you so We're excited much. to follow your growth. Continue. Thank you very much. Love you guys. Excellent. Take care. Thank you.